we were talking about curb appeal. Mm -hmm. Is it right to assume if I before I even call you, should I mow the grass, clean up the trash, you know, trim my hedges, make my whole front yard look really good or as good as I possibly can before I even bother doing anything else? Yeah, that that just part of that's just good home ownership, but also, yeah, they do the things that you can do. You know, does your house need a coat of paint? You, you, and if you don't have the money to do that, that's another story. That's a whole other issue that we can address. But the things that don't cost any money, mowing the grass, trimming the trees, things like that, yeah, absolutely. Just doing just those little things, spending a day in the front yard, can it possibly add thousands of dollars to the bottom line almost instantly? Sure, depending upon the neighborhood, absolutely. Excellent. What about pets? Having if at, being a seller, if I have cats and dogs and pets, or if there's been um, some infestations of certain types or anything, does that affect my house? It can. Um, pet odors will definitely affect your house. Um, if I walk in and the first thing I smell is cat or dog, so does the buyer, and um, not everybody is going to want that. Um, if you have had issues with termites, uh, if you have it treated. And, and any repairs that might need to be made. It, it's usually a non-issue from the standpoint of if you've addressed the problem of had it taken care of. It's when you try to hide something or mask it um, is when it really becomes an issue. Gotcha. And if you have any other questions, give me a call. I will answer any questions that you have. And if I don't have the answer, I'll find it for you.